guys, it's Dan here. And uh, what I'm going to be cooking for you today is a little boudin sausage. I'm going to be doing it on the Blackstone. I've never tried it on the Blackstone. I actually watched some other people's videos of doing it on the grill and everything. Um, I do know you have to be real careful because there's rice in this, so it can pop up but uh, bust out the sides. But we'll see how I do. Well, stick around and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever tried cooking boudin. I've eaten it before. I personally have never made it. So we're gonna figure out if I'm any good at making it together. Let me just put some grease down. That's probably way too much. And once again, I still have water in my grease bottle. Uh, and I forgot my spatula out here because I was gonna turn it with these tongs. So let me smear this around. I know you guys have heard me say it before. If I didn't mess something up, it wouldn't be a Dan's Outdoor Cooking video. Well, there you go. I forgot a spatula to spread that out. I've got both burners on this 22 inch Blackstone on low right now. Because every video I watched on this said you gotta cook it pretty low and everything because the rice is gonna expand. Uh, that's why when I opened it out of the package, I was trying to be extra careful. Uh, and I don't know if I have a hole or not. I was trying not to cut a hole, but it looks like it. Um, and that's why I got these uh, tongs here with the rubber ends. Well, let's find out together whether I know how to cook this or not. All uh, right, I'll be back here in just a few minutes. Like I said, this is on low. No clue how long this is going to take, but I'm not in a big rush anyway because the rice that I'm going to put this on is going to take 25 minutes, and uh, I just started it a few minutes ago inside. All right, guys, he's been on for probably two, three minutes. I did notice this one right here. I think I have some rice leaking out of it. I'm not sure. I am just curious to see what this other side looks like. I'm trying real hard not to tear the casing. Okay, anyway, they're starting to look good. I think what I'm going to have to do is just keep flipping them back and forth. Might have to lean them against the back so I can get this side or something. That's good color. Yeah, I got a little hole right there and a little hole right there on that one. Uh, but I really haven't lost a whole heck of a lot. Uh, I'm still running both burners on low. So let these go for a little bit longer and we'll see how it turns out. All right, guys, let's turn these and uh, see what we got going on. I did notice that I uh, have a real big split going right through there. Hopefully that doesn't affect how this cooks up. But let's try to gently roll that. I think I'm going to put them back here for just a few minutes. Try to get that side to cook. And uh, Man, that casing on this one is tearing every time I touch it. Uh-oh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me turn this just a little bit for you. I think one of these sausages is going to come apart on me, but the other one still looks good, so we'll see what we have. All right, well, the one opened up on me pretty bad. But let me try rolling these over. They look like they're almost done. Try not to lose everything. Like I said, I was going to cut these up and put them over rice anyway, so... Um, ooh, that one split real bad, too. Let me set that one like that. And I don't know if I'll get this to turn in one piece or not. All right, yes, I did. All right, I think about two or three more minutes on that side. And I'm going to see at least what I have. Um, like I said, the one split open. I knew that might be a problem because, uh, like I said, there's rice inside of these. And they say the rice starts expanding when you start cooking. And you got to be real careful not to nick the casing. Well, evidently on the Blackstone, even on low, either I turned it too early or I did something. But I'm sure it's still going to be good. At least we're going to find out. Well, while I'm finishing this up, if you guys want to and you like my videos, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, that's always greatly appreciated. Uh, if you want to see future videos of mine, hit the subscription button. And next to the subscription button, uh, hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified every time I put out a new video. 
Well, let me get this finished up and I'll be right back. All right, guys, let's go ahead and try to roll this out to the middle. I'm sure it is all done. That one there, it split pretty good. But I'm going to chop this up in medallions or dice it up in medallions, whatever you want to say. And uh, put it over a bed. I've got uh, Zatarain's yellow rice is what I'm going to put it on. I'm going to find out. It does not look like what I've ordered at the restaurant because, you know, they cook it without splitting it open. But I'll see how it tastes. I'll be back for my taste test. And you all have a wonderful day. Hey, guys. Um, it didn't quite turn out like I anticipated. I don't know how well you can see that. When I went to cut it up in little medallions or whatever, I kind of shredded it. But we're going to find out if it's still good or not. Uh, it doesn't look like I've had it down when I've been down south at the restaurants and stuff. But let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. That's very good. I like that a lot. The taste is still great. It might not look pretty. But, you know, a lot of things in life don't look pretty, but are still great. Um, got this yellow rice here that's just out of a box. It's Saturn's yellow rice. Now, this is the original uh, from the same company that uh, made this. I also bought their spicy. You might see that in a future video. This is extremely good. Well, hopefully you all enjoyed my video tonight. I apologize for that. I need to wipe my mouth again. And Emma, if you're watching, yes, I still keep my napkin right here in my pocket. But everybody, please have a blessed day. I appreciate you watching my video. Um, I don't have my wristband on right now, but check out Smoking Bears. Lee, he's going through uh, some cancer treatments right now and everything. Uh, watch a couple of, the, of his videos, comment on there, give him moral support. Lee's an awesome guy at Smoking Bears. I will leave a link to his channel in the description. Once again, have a blessed day.